So let's start off with some drums. We have some drums in front of us here. Let's hear what they sound like. They sound pretty good, but let's try to improve them using Easy Mix 2. Let's check out each track. We have a kick track. A snare track. A snare bottom track. A rack tom. A four tom. A pair of overheads. And a pair of room mics. Let's start off with the kick. And we'll go right here to our inserts and we'll insert Easy Mix 2. Now, if you notice, there's two options here mono or mono to stereo. We're dealing with a mono track, so we have these two options. In general, with the mono track, we're going to choose mono, but there are times you want to use mono to stereo. And let me show you. Let's start with mono, and let's choose drums, and under effect, Let's choose reverb. And if we choose drum room two, let's hear what that sounds like. Notice there's reverb on the kick drum. But because we chose mono, the reverb is mono. So when using something like reverb or a stereo effect, it's better to choose mono to stereo. So let's do that. Mono input, stereo output. And now let's hear it. Notice the effect, or the reverb, is now stereo. But for now, we're not putting reverb on the kick, so we're going to use mono. So let's go to drums, kick, and let's not choose an effect just yet, because we're not sure what we need. Let's just go through our presets that were set up for kick drum. And if you notice, there's not too many of them. So it's worth going through a bunch of them. Let's start with this one. Kick basic four. Notice how much deeper that sounds. Before. Sounds a little clicky and a little boxy. This preset has an EQ on there, which seems to suck out the mid-range, which makes it sound more punchy and deeper. Before and after. That sounds better to me. Let's go through a few more. But as we're choosing ones that we like, let's save them as favorites so we can go back and choose. So we'll right-click this and choose Add to Favorites. And right now, this is the only favorite we have, so it'll be easier to choose between them. Let's check out this one, Firm Kick. Not really liking that one. Gate 1. And over here, we'll see there's one effect on this preset. In this case, it's just a gate. So it hides some of the bleed coming from the other drums into the kick mic. And we can adjust that right here by adjusting the threshold. That's fully open. And let's close it up a bit. Right about there feels pretty good. So let's save this preset as a favorite. Right here. So, so far, we have these two. Let's keep going. This one's called Kick. Before. I'm not really liking this one. 
Let's keep going. That's a lot deeper. Let's try basic two. Basic three. That one feels really good. It seems to cut out the low and mid range and boost the low end, but it also compresses because there's two effects on this preset, EQ and compressor. And by adjusting this, we can adjust the low punch EQ. That feels really good. Let's say this is a favorite. Let's keep going. That's too clicky. Nah. Not really liking the other ones. So let's go to our favorites. We have these three to choose from. Basic four. Gate one. Which is only really a gate. And then kick basic three. So what I think I wanna do is use the gate and kick basic three, which has a compressor and an EQ on it. So the way to do that is we'll start off with the gate. Whenever I'm getting an instrument, I wanna gate that first, cause you want your gate to come before the compressor. If we compress first, it's gonna reduce the dynamic range and the gate's not gonna work as well. So let's start off using this gate and find a perfect spot for the threshold. That feels pretty good. Reduces a lot of leakage, but still it's the kick drum sound come through. So now let's duplicate this plugin on the same track. Right here. So we're basically layering multiple effects on top of each other. So on the second one, we'll choose something different. Either this one or this one. But gate number one is still on over here. And I should show you this also. If we delete this from a favorite, even though it's changed here, see the asterisk? That lets us know that the preset has changed from the stock setting. But even if we delete it, right click, delete favorite, it's still being used over here, and the asterisk is still here as well. So your software remembers the setting you're using, even if you don't save the preset. So let's go back to this one and choose between these two presets. I think I like this one better, but let's hear it with the rest of the drums. In bypass, It's definitely punchier with more low end. But to match the bypass sound, let's bring the output up on Easy Mix 2. Let's solo it. And if we choose this track in Pro Tools, we can hit Shift A and it bypasses both of the plugins. Hit it again, it turns them both back on. So we could audition both plugins in bypass and turned on. So now it's gated using this plugin, gate one, and over here, it's being compressed and EQ'd. Let's hear in the track. 
bypassed. And back on. I think that's a big improvement. 